I want to discuss time value of money. Specifically in this video, I want to talk about annuities. Now, an annuity is a finite stream of equal payments made at equal intervals. And there are lots of examples of annuities. For example, a mortgage payment or a car payment, um, a pension, or for example, lottery winnings paid over time. Now, finding the present and future values of an annuity allow us to answer a number of interesting questions like, how much do we need to save each year so that we'll have, for example, $100,000 saved for our child's uh, education when they head off to school in 18 years? How much can I withdraw each year from my 401k account in equal amounts if I have $2 million in my account? How much will I need in my 401k account if I want to withdraw $250,000 per year for the four, uh, 30 years I'm retired? So these are questions that everybody's going to be interested in, even if you're not a finance professional. So the first concept is the present value of an annuity. Now, I've discussed present value before, and what we're trying to do is find out what a what a bunch of payments are worth today. In the case of an annuity, all those payments are the same, so it allows us to derive a um, specific formula for calculating it. So we don't have to calculate the present value of each individual cash flow and then add them up. There's a formula for the annuity. If the first cash flow is received one period from today, we refer to this as an ordinary annuity. If the first cash flow is received today, we refer to this as an annuity due. Okay, that's the terminology. Okay, let's look at the present value equations. For an ordinary annuity, right, it's just the A dollars divided by one plus the interest rate. That's in the first period. In the second period, it's A dollars divided by one plus R squared, et cetera, et cetera. For the annuity due, you get the first payment today, so we don't have to take the present value. It's already in present value terms. So this would be received today. This is the cash flow received one period in the future, divided by one plus R, raised to the first power. The second year cash flow is uh, one plus R, raised to the second power, etc. So here are the formulas. And there's a relationship. The present value of an annuity equals, okay, in brackets here, one minus one plus the interest rate in decimal form raised to the minus t power, that's the number of periods that you're receiving the annuity, divided by the interest rate, again, in decimal form. The annuity due formula is the same except it's multiplied by one plus r. So let's look at a time cash flow diagram. Maybe that's a little clearer. If we were simply calculating the present value of an ordinary annuity, we would have these cash flows. If we took this, if we multiply this by one plus R, we've essentially moved all those cash flows out one period. This cash flow would go to here, this cash flow would go to here, et cetera, and we would have exactly the same as the ordinary annuity. So that's the relationship, this one plus R. All right, suppose you win the lottery and you receive $50,000 per year for 20 years. You'd like to receive a lump sum of money today rather than take the $50,000 per year. If the interest rate is 6%, how much should you receive? Well, we want to calculate the present value of that. All right, we can use the formula here, but in fact, let me use the uh, financial calculator, which actually has this already programmed into it. This happens to be the TIBA2 plus. All right, there are HP calculators as well that also do this. All right, to clear these time value of money function keys, we hit second, clear TVM. And then we put in the information. Okay, the number of periods is 20, the interest rate is 6%. In this calculator, you put it in as a whole number, as 6. The payment, the PMT, is the annuity amount, 50000 
And if we compute the present value, hopefully we get the same answer, 573,496 and six cents. If we want to find the value for the annuity due, we can multiply by 1.06. Or if you're using the financial calculator, it will also do annuity due calculations. If you can see on my calculator, over the PMT key is something that says BGN. That means beginning of period cash flows. So if you hit second and hit this key, it says end of period cash flows. Okay, that means one period into the future. To change this to beginning of period cash flows to make it an annuity due, you hit second, enter. And you'll notice that in the upper right hand corner is this BGN. It's telling you it's calculating annuity due. Now most, most calculations we do are ordinary annuities, so I recommend if you use this to convert it back. I've already typed the information in, so let me just compute present value again, and I get 607,905.82. So in fact, you could use these uh, formulas or you can use the financial calculator to do this. All right, let's take a look at the future value of an annuity. Now, we can find the future value of a stream of cash flows by simply finding the future value of each cash flow and then adding them up. Okay, I discussed this in a, a previous video. But because, again, the annuity consists of the same cash flow, again, it's easy to derive a formula. Um, if the first cash flows received one period from today, again, we refer to this as an ordinary annuity. If the first cash flows received today, we refer to this as an annuity due. So again, here's the formula for the ordinary annuity. Remember, you're going from year one to year T. So let's say that's 10 periods into the future. T is 10. Then remember, the year one cash flow only grows for nine periods, or T minus one. The year two cash flow only grows for eight periods, 10 minus two etc etc when we get to the final cash flow it's going to be raised to the zero power which makes this one so you're just going to add up the annuity whatever that amount is if it's an annuity due you get what do you get you get t periods of interest here right so if you get the first cash flow in year zero or make the first deposit in year zero and we're going out to year 10, you're going to get 10 years worth of interest. The second cash flow, you're going to get nine years worth of interest. And in the final period, it's going to end in year nine. Remember, you started in year zero, and you're going to get one more, years of, one more year of interest. So again, this is the concept here. Here you're going to get, this is the ordinary annuity, right? If it's five periods, for example, one, two, three, four. That's why you're only raising this first cash flow to the five minus one power, right? This one's only going one, two, three periods. Down here, because you started in time period zero, you get one, two, three, four, five periods of interest. This one you get one, two, three, four periods of interest. Remember, there's no cash flow in year five. Your last cash flow is in year four, but we want to find the year, uh, the value in year five. So again, these are the formulas. This is the formula for the future value of an annuity. Okay, it's the annuity times in brackets here, one plus the interest rate. Again, the interest rate is in decimal form, raised to the teeth power, minus one, divided by the interest rate. And the future value of an annuity due is the same formula times one plus R. So let's take a look at an example here. And again, let me, let me reset my um, calculator. And the way you reset that is, again, second, hit that payment key, which gets you to BGN. To change it, you have to hit second set, okay, which is the enter key. All right, so let's see what we have here. Again, I want to clear my workspace, so that's second, clear TVM. Uh, the question says you're going to get $10,000 per year for the 40 years you're working. How much will you will be in your account? 
in year 40 if the interest rate is 8%. So n is 40, the interest rate is 8%, again, whole number for the calculator, and the annuity is 10,000, that's the PMT, and we compute the future value and we get two million five hundred and ninety thousand five hundred and sixty five dollars and eighteen or nineteen cents. Again, you can multiply that by 1.08 to get the value of an annuity due. That is, you start saving today instead of waiting a year to start saving. If we want to check with the financial calculator, we can change that to BGN. Okay, all the numbers are in. Let's compute the future value. We get two million seven hundred ninety-seven thousand eight hundred ten and forty cents. So this is right, really quite powerful, right? If you start saving a certain amount of money, and you can make a good estimate as to the return you're going to earn, you'll have a good idea of how much money you will have in your account when you retire. All right. Now, once you do this you can actually figure out how much you can withdraw each year during the years that you're retired, which is, you know, something that we all like to know.